One of the most important things to remember about birds and storms is that they're very good at surviving them. If they sense a storm coming, the first thing they do is find a nice big thick bush, a big thick hedge, and they dive right down into it. And they can hang out there for a couple of hours because they have a couple of really fabulous physiological adaptations that allow them to cope with this kind of bad weather. One of which is their wonderful feathers. Your feather sort of looks like this. And there's all kinds of space between the little parts of the feather. And the air gets trapped in there. And so even though you have wind coming, it can't really push that air out from between the feathers. It's the trapping of that air that becomes not mobile that provides the insulation. The other major uh, adaptation that they have is that they have special things in their feet called a countercurrent exchange. And the idea is that you have your artery coming down your leg and then the vein coming back up. But you're going to lose heat outside of your foot and outside of your leg. But the birds have them very close. And so as this cold blood is coming back up the foot, all the heat from the artery moves over into the vein and it doesn't lose very much heat through its feet. Even though they have no feathers on their legs and they have these little bare little stick legs that are running around in the snow, they're perfectly fine.